Steve, can I ask you a serious question? Yeah, Shin, shoot. Well, I was just curious if I could just stay down here, possibly maybe on your desk. Well, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to say no because technically the living room is where all the kaiju figures go, or at least uh, the Japanese kaiju figures go anyways. Well, you keep the Pacific Rim stuff down here. Well, yeah, but that's kind of like a disheveled mess of a shelf, and they're stateside toys, like... All my stuff down in my office is stateside toys. Yeah, but have you seen your desk? Oh, you mean those. Because I have to keep those down here because I can't really have them upstairs because like, I have company over once in a while, you know? Then I'm just kind of out of room, to be honest with you. And that's kind of why I want to stay down here. Because being upstairs cooped up in that case is kind of just one big giant monster sausage fest. But if I was down here with all those lovely ladies, maybe I wouldn't be such a crabby kaiju. You know, I... I highly doubt that. Well, to be honest, I kind of highly doubt it too. So, does that mean yes? Uh, that means... Why are you in these videos again? I thought you were supposed to have a stunt double. Yeah, well, he's uh kind of met an untimely end. What do you mean he met an untimely end? He kind of completes my... Well, actually, I don't have to complete that. But you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess he just was trying to impress you and sort of just took a nosedive off the shelf. But I never heard anything like, where'd he go? I... You know, I haven't even actually seen him on the shelf right now that I think about it. Oh, uh, don't worry, I took care of it. Where's the store? So that kind of explains why I've made it back into these videos. Well, that doesn't mean you're still going to be staying high on the shelf. You you need to go back up in your display case. But I want to stay down here with the ladies. All right, you can stay down here, but on one condition, you have to keep him company. All right, take me back upstairs. Really? You're going to give up all those girls just so you don't have to hang out with me? Hey, man, I've given up way worse than this. Oh, yeah? Like what? I could have had your sister, but uh, I turned that down. Hey! I have a sister? And this is why you're never in any of the sequels. Hey, Rangers, welcome to Super Important Reviews. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today we'll be going over the Mega House Dragon Ball Gals Bulma Arabin version. All right, so why are we doing this, Steve? Haven't we learned nothing? Nobody watches these on our channel. I still enjoy getting these figures. We're doing the video. <laughs> <laughs> I pay for it. We're doing it, damn it. It's only because I get to put that as the thumbnail. <laughs> It'll get some views. It'll be fine. But the main reason I picked this up is just because this is the first Bulma I've really seen in the series that actually looks good, in my opinion. Like, it's got pretty much what I want in terms of design. Uh, it's not quite like what I would like to see out of, like, I like, they need to make like a Dragon Ball Z or even Super version of her. Like, get away from Dragon Ball. For starters. Please give me like Namek. I'd take Trunk Saga. Oh no, I don't like the <laughs> Trunk Saga hair, dude. Oh, oh man, I'll, I'll totally take that perm fro thing she had going on. Oh, that's hideous, Or even dude. Super. It is. <laughs> Whatever. It's better than like anything she wore in Dragon Ball. Except for this. This is nice. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I, I like the version of uh, where she's sleeping in a bed and Goku's looking for her penis. Can we get that version? <laughs> well, they have her in just her uh, the long t-shirt. But she's like sitting down. I don't know. I just don't really like the pose mainly for that one. But that's pretty much the reason I picked this up. Because it's chick figure. Looks nice. Uh, sadly, I don't really collect much of the dudes from Dragon Ball. But we're going with this line for certain. Uh, but anyways, you guys are here for the figure, so without further ado, for the packaging, she comes in a nice purple transitioning to pink package with some stars. You get a nice image of her on the front, pretty much what you're buying her for. <laughs> you can see the figure on the inside of the packages. Opposite side, just more images. On this side, just gives you a nice shot of the entire figure. Top of the package, you can check out her hair if you want to. And on the back, just more images of her, a bunch of stuff I can't understand, some legal mumbo jumbo, and more Bulma on the bottom. So let's get her open up out of her cardboard prison. All right, so now that we got her open up out of her cardboard prison, first there is some assembly required, which you will have to put her on the stand, which uh, you'll notice that the pegs are slightly different scale. Uh, you're going to want to have the smaller peg going into the front of her foot. The back peg goes into this plastic piece here. You just line it up, make sure everything's good, and you just kind of apply a little bit of pressure down. Goes on there real easy. Also very secure, so you don't have to worry about her tipping over. So that works really well. And then for the detailing for the base, it's just the capsule course, the logo inside of a uh, translucent plastic with the Dragon Ball symbol on the front. Yeah, it's a copyright on the back. It's kind of plain. I'm not too enthusiastic about their stands, but they're all like that, though. Yeah, well, it's like, 
are you really going to be paying attention to stand with us? Because, uh, moving on to a look at her details. For a closer look at her details, for the head sculpt, it looks really nice. My one complaint is I wish the eyes weren't looking off to the side on, like, every single one of these figures. I actually like that about him. Yeah, but it's like, don't you want a little bit of variety? No. But for the rest of the hair, looks really nice. I do like her hairstyle, though. That's one of my favorite things about her is the hairstyle she has in here. Yeah, that's probably one of my more favorites with uh, the bangs on the front and the ponytail in the back. Personally, I like Namek. Like, they really need to make a Namek Wait, one of these. Which Namek, though? Are you like, do you like the Namek? Namek or like like after Namek when Frieza comes back with Trunks? That's Trunks Saga. Oh, God. Okay. I think like the <laughs> old Afro look thing. I don't mind. Like, it's better than some options. Like, I'd buy it. But no, where she has like the... Uh, the Mo Howard cut, <laughs> sort of. I I would really like the one of that. I honestly don't like the super. It's like way too short for me. Eh, it's mostly the same as Namek. Mostly, no. it's Namek got a little is... bit of a different style, but still, yeah. still fairly short. Namek is a little longer though. I'd still take it. I like me some uh, more mature Bulma. Well, this looks mature too. Like, holy crap! Look at the size of those things. <laughs> Rated M. Rated M for up and mature for mature. <laughs> Shut you guys have ever seen Hulu? <laughs> well, yeah, the boobs that defy physics. The reason why we buy these figures. Well, that and for some other reason, they always, always got a curvy backside to these things. Mm. But for the rest of the detail, she has this little gold necklace around her neck. She has the. Arabic vest that you see on a lot of uh, more like, I don't want to say stereotypical, but like classic figures and things like Aladdin. Yeah. That kind of thing. And then you have the little wrapping around her Spark waist. thingy, belt, whatever that is. And what kind of appears to be a white bed sheet. Because I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's actually slightly translucent. So you can see pretty much the inner workings a little bit. Not like in great detail, but you can see a little bit of the skin tone kind of popping through. Uh, grabbing my phone real quick just to show you. We also did this in the unboxing, but you guys can see what I'm talking about here with the dress. Mm, I can see, Steve. <laughs> I can see clearly now. <laughs> a little higher, please. <laughs> no. Doesn't, doesn't really help there. I like how just you got that one glowing spot, just like oh, right where the, cam the camera light is. But it is a really cool little effect that they have going on. It helps to kind of add to the allure of the figure. But for the rest of the detailings, you get some nice crinkling of the fabric here on the top where the belt is. And where it kind of starts separating here at the seams. You get some folding here right around the thighs where she's pulling at the side of the dress here. For really, like, no reason other than, like, does she have a wedgie or something? She's just trying to get that out of there? Oh, no. She's trying to emphasize on all of these beautiful <laughs> details. Yeah, I feel like that's there just to kind of just show off the curves a little bit more. The way they have her design. And you can see here where the fabric's kind of pulling upwards on this side. But this side, it's more aiming downwards a little bit. And they have the elastic yeah, around the odd, though, isn't it? ankles there. Yeah, it's just a little odd. But it it works. Because you kind of figure this is the only size to be pulling on. So this is just going to kind of be doing what it wants. The only real ugly thing about this figure here is this is like its own separate piece where this is molded and painted and not translucent. With this being translucent, it's more of like a shell. So on the side here, you can, you can see, see the seam line. I seen that as soon as you turned it around. Uh, this side, it's not really noticeable. Like, I'm trying to figure out where it actually clips in around here. I don't think it did. It might have been one of those, like, it's heated up and then kind of sat around here and then it's glued in on this side. Maybe. Is the only thing I could think of. So this side in particular is not the cleanest looking, especially right down here. But if you, when you have her angling on this side because of the way she's looking, like, you're not going to have her pose like this, I would imagine. So... Overall, it's not bad, but a minor hiccup. Like, I think it could have been a little bit cleaner. Uh, some sanding could have really solved that problem. And then at her feet, she's got some sandals. Her nails are also painted. Didn't really mention that, but it looks like... Same paint as the hand. Yeah, it's kind of pinkish. Which I'm not sure if that's actually nail paint, or if that's just the uh, color of the undersection of the nail. 
is what they're going with. But you guys can see it here too on the upper hand. Overall detail wise, I think it looks great. Uh, no articulation because it is a statue. So this is literally what you're getting with the figure. But overall, very nicely painted, especially here too. Like I love the more glossy, shiny. blue, shiny finish on pretty much everything. Because we've like, I complained before, like I don't really like silky kind of materials to be in a glossy effect. I was just about to say that. You always complain about that, Steve. God. Because <laughs> up here is where like my issue would be. But since they have it like slightly translucent here, it actually adds the effect there. And for some quick comparisons here, we have the Bulma Arabian version compared next to some other Dragon Ball Gal figures with Android 18 version three and launch. And here she is with some more Dragon Ball Gals, a Chi Chi China dress version and Android 18 version two. And here she is with some Sega statues with Aqua and Darkness from Konosuba. And here she is with some more high-end statues from my collection with the Questa Q Rory Mercury from Gates and the Demoto Benny Mia from Monster Musume. And finally, here she is with some Beach Queen statues with Madoka from Puella Magi Madoka Magica and Kuroneko from Oribo. So overall with the Mega House Dragon Ball Gals Boma, uh, this thing is fantastic. Oh, she's beautiful. Yep, love the paint job, love the detailing, love the use of translucent plastic for her dress. For once, usually we complain about that, like the rem that I got, the horn was translucent, it's just then sit right on her, you know what I mean? It seems weird, but like, it makes sense for the anime, but it's a little weird. Well, this like, aesthetically, all works really well for me. Now, is it the favoritist that I own? Between Chi Chi and 18? No, 18's still pretty hot. You know, I think in terms of just a statue, I like this one probably the best. 18's still my more favorite character, but in terms of what's going on with this figure, I think it's just a little bit more impressive. So if you guys are interested in more over-exaggerated Dragon Ball girls, you can't really do any better than this line. I can't, I don't think. No, I haven't seen anything like this. This is like the first ones. I've yeah, each seen. Mega House generally runs you about 100-ish. It's between 80 and 100. And from what I see here, it's a really well done statue. Now I feel like I need to try to get some of those Banprestos and see how they stack up to these. Because they got a few that actually look kind of interesting. But uh, for the most part though, this is my standout line for Dragon Ball right now. Yeah, you don't need to extend the uh, olive branch as they say, Steve. Just stay here. Oh, we need to extend something already. Yeah, <laughs> get it. But what do you guys think? If you guys picked up Bomo, what's your favorite Dragon Ball Gallers? Do just more you think. Please let us know in the comments. A little closer pick to this gal on our Facebook. You want to click the link in the description below. We also have our Patreon account with exclusive prints and live streams now for the channel down in the description below. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.